If you've seen any political ads recently, you may have noticed Republicans are betting big on crime. Mandela Barnes, dangerously liberal on crime. Catherine Cortez Masto is dangerous for police. The issue of increasing crime makes for compelling ads, but is the problem bad enough that voters will choose one side over the other in the midterms? Here are the facts. Data from the FBI measuring violent crime on a per-person basis shows it did rise from 2019 to 2020. But after dropping slightly last year, overall crime is at near levels seen in 2010 and far below previous decades. Homicides are a different story, spiking nearly 30% during the pandemic and remaining nearly that high today. Whatever the actual trends may be, crimes are caught on camera and continue to make headlines, and Americans are taking notice. A Gallup poll found 72% of Americans were dissatisfied with the nation's policies to reduce crime, even as the Biden administration has invested billions. And 85% of voters said crime was important to them when thinking about the midterm elections. So despite crime rising in communities run by Democrats and Republicans alike, each side is trying to convince voters to blame the other. But Republicans have the advantage here, as our News Nation Decision Desk polling found voters trust Republicans more to handle the issue by a 10% margin. That's a huge opportunity GOP candidates aren't wasting. Tim fight the criminals, not the cops. Mentions of crime in GOP ads doubled over the last month. Their bottom line, Democrats aren't tough enough. Let's take a look at Georgia. The city of Atlanta has been hit especially hard with violent crimes doubling during the pandemic. Republican Governor Brian Kemp is blasting Democratic opponent Stacey Abrams for what he is saying is an anti-police stance that won't help the problem. She voted to bankroll anti-police groups. Abrams has since said she does not support defunding the police. I will support law enforcement and law enforcement agrees. Democrats across the country are trying to deploy a different narrative. Blame crime on how easy it is to get a gun. I'm determined to ban assault weapons in this country. Democrats are trying to gain voters' trust in policing and public safety, but overall, crime still falls below other issues like inflation for voters this November. 